Disco Awards. I'm so excited. We have Caitlin Nacon here from The Walking Dead. Yay. Caitlin, thank you for being here. Oh, no, thanks for having the me. The Stream Lounge. So how are things going? What's going on for you right now? Uh, it's pretty crazy. So I'm on The Walking Dead. Um, and it's What's been, it like being on the show? It's amazing because everyone's just so nice and so supportive. And everyone's having fun there. And they're all doing what they love. And it's just such a great environment to be at. And I mean, it's like one of the top shows in the world. So it's kind pretty of overwhelming, it huh? Is, it is. Sometimes it's a little surreal and I don't really know what's happening. <laughs> you were telling me earlier that it just in a, in a blink of an eye, your life changes yeah. because you're from Georgia, right? Yeah. And like before the audition, it was just like another audition and I was just going to school and like doing normal things. And all of a sudden I'm working every other day on a really amazing show. And what about your mother? Who, who's taking you to the show? How, how are things happening? What's uh, going on with school? Well, see, like my school, what happens is like they will give me assignments and mm -hmm. I kind of do those on my own time. And um, my dad usually ends up taking me to set because his work is a little more lenient because both my parents work and they both take care of my acting and all this at the same time, which I don't know how they do. I'm in, like internally grateful for them because um, my mom's job is a little a little more strict on her working time, so she's not really able to help out as much, but she does so much for me. Do you because. ever actually go and attend school? That, yeah. That, and, and how do the other students uh, um, act towards you? Like every once in a while, this kid, a kid will stop me and be like, oh wait, are you the kid on The Walking Dead? I'm like, yes. <laughs> and they're like, so you're kind of embarrassed? <laughs> yeah, well, it's just like, it's just awkward for me. I'm not used to like a lot of attention. I've never really liked a lot of attention, so have it kind of come to me all of a sudden it's just weird <laughs> and now here you are at the AMAs this is your first AMA right yes it is <laughs> and you have an EP that you put out yes, tell I us do. about your EP oh it's called love in May and you can find it on iTunes and it's just five songs that I wrote a while ago and finally got produced what are the songs about um some are about like my family and just kind of that kind of family bond and um, some are about boys, of course. <laughs> you always got to have that song. <laughs> you must have yes. songs about boys. <laughs> we can all relate to that at any age. Yeah. <laughs> Do you have any advice for anybody that's getting into, I mean, you you told me you're 16, mm -hmm. right? For other 16 year olds that are interested in doing what you're doing, where do you start? What advice do you have um, for them? Well, I just started at like a local theater and took a lot of classes and workshops and that kind of helped me uh, get open to a lot of people. But I mean, really, it's just you really have to love what you're doing or else it may not work out. And you just have to really love it and works really hard for it. It's a lot of commitment that you have to put because into it. Because it's it's not easy. It's not easy. It and takes I think, a lot of work. I think work. people don't really see that. It's a lot of hard work that you have to put into it. Well, thank you so yeah. much. And I thank do you. hope to see more of you. Thank you for joining us here in the Z Stream <laughs> Lounge. Have me. a wonderful day at the AMA. <laughs> <You too. laughs>